In this lesson, we're going to create a SQL Server database using Visual Studio 2008. We're going to create a connection manager using C Sharp. We're going to create a database layer using C Sharp. And we're going to display the data in a grid view in ASP.NET using C Sharp. In part one, we're going to create a SQL Server database called Enterprise. We're going to create a table called Company. And then we're going to populate that table with some test data. To create a SQL Server database in Visual Studio, we'll click on Server Explorer, right-click Data Connections, and then Create New SQL Server Database. Enter the name of your machine, followed by SQL Express. We'll use Windows Authentication, and their database name will be Enterprise 4. To add a new table to the database, expand your newly created database, right click on tables, and click on add new table. So we'll create a table with a company ID. We'll leave it at invar inchar 10. Company name. We'll give them a little bit more on this one, 150. Company email. Give them 150 as well. And company size. The chart in. We give it a primary key. And then we will save it called company. To add some test data, open up the tables, right-click, show table data. And then we can enter in some data. In part two, we're going to create a new website, add a connection string to the web.config file, and create a connection manager class. To create a new website, we'll click File, New, Website. Make sure ASP Website, Visual C Sharp, we're going to call it Website 4. To add a connection string to your web config file, go into Solution Explorer, open your web config file, and add connection string. Add. And we're going to call it Enterprise 4. And the connection string. The easiest way to get it is to go into Solution, into Server Explorer, right-click, then Properties, and then it will give you your connection string there. Control-A, Control-C, and then bring it down into here and paste it. Now we're going to add a connection manager. We're going to do that by adding an ASP.NET folder. Within that, add a data access folder and then add the Connection Manager class. We're not going to be using Link. We, we will be using the SQL Server libraries. We'll not be using a constructor. I'm going to create a namespace for this called Lesson 1. We 
we're going to change this type of class to be internal so it's accessible only for this assembly and then static oh, I'm sorry sealed so that it cannot be overridden we're going to create a function called get connection which is going to return the connection to the to the database and it's going to be public static so we don't create create an instance of it instead we call it directly it's going to return a SQL connection get connection Configuration manager is what's used to get information out of the web config file. Dot connection strings. And it's going to be the enterprise four. Dot connection string. SQL connection. New. Open the connection. And return the connection.